His old flame, Cass, was burning blue now, her life really on fire. Out of jail and back on drugs and a phone witch. She broke the spell of the call block and made sure he did not put her out of mind too long. Bared her teeth of mood in every message, from false concern for him to the pretension she was unaffected and did not miss his touch and voice, to reprisals. If I see your face at my door, in my neighborhood, on my street, I'm calling the cops. I mean it. I'll have a restraining order on your ass if you come around here. I can't handle this anymore. You're unstable. You scare me. I don't want anything to do with you, so stay away. He tried to remember all the crap in their relationship, and there had been a good load of crap. He did not have to wrinkle his brow to recall that. He stopped trying. The broom sat straw up in the corner of his kitchen, tied straight with red thread. He wrapped his hands over the stem and brushed the dust out. There was nothing better to do. Combat a phone witch with a broom. Sweep her right out of mind. He heard pianos and cellos. The stereo was off. The smoke alarm in the stairwell chirped every minute, gasping for batteries. Sounded like wind sprints on a polished gymnasium floor. The squeak that accompanied a sudden change in direction. He was headed the same way always, and there was music in his head. At least it was pleasant music, classical music, music to concentrate on, non-repetitious sound. He paced the half-swept floors, paced and thought. The ice rattled against the octagonal glass in his hand.